All right, what is going on, guys? Welcome to the first official podcast. Do we have a name for it, guys? What, what What's the name for it? I don't know. If we do. James, you said... Radio Silence. Like radio Silence. But no, it's okay. So um, we're, we're going to come up with a really good name for you guys. But like I was mentioning in my last video, we are going to be starting more of this long-form conversation style. I think James right now is uh, a little bit frozen. But um, right now I have the two fellows on here that I'm going to be doing the podcast with. Um, James Johnson. Uh, and he, oh, there he goes. He's there he is. Back. But yes, James Johnson. Back. And I'll let you guys talk about your, your social medias and all that sort of thing. Um, but, but yeah, James Johnson and Connor Rush, um, both two really good um, resources in terms of the natural bodybuilding community, like I was telling you guys about, and two people that I really think we're going to have great conversation with. You guys are going to learn a lot from. And also, just in general, um, I think we're all going to be able to learn a lot from each other. So we're going to do a little brief intro today. It's not going to be too in-depth. I just want to get you guys to know them a little bit more. You guys know who I am, of course. But if, like, obviously you're not familiar with them, um, you're going to be. But they're going to give you guys a little brief intro, who they are, kind of where they're um, coming from, how they got to where they are right now. Um, and, yeah, so I'll let you guys take the reins. I don't know whoever wants to go first. James, if you want to go first. James, I'll let you go first, sir. All right, so like Joe said, my name is James Johnson. I am the CEO, CEO, CFO, whatever other titles you want to say of Everything. ATP Performance. Yeah, I am yes, the man. <laughs> um, so I think one of the, one, the main things we wanted to talk about was just our background, right? So everyone yep. kind of understands who we are, our knowledge. We're not just some random guys that you should listen to. Um, so I think just like these other two guys, um, athletics and sports in general were like my entire life growing up right so you guys can probably agree with that um i was big into baseball and soccer those were my two big ones um ended up playing college soccer for a small d3 school no one watching this is probably going to know it but junior out of college if you watch hey. and you went there and know it thank you <laughs> uh, we, comment <laughs> yeah yeah exactly we had like 1600 students total i think but so yeah played soccer there even before getting there, I had never touched a weight, right? So I'm not one of these sure. people that's been lifting for 15 years of my life. That's awesome. Um, that's I came in perspective. Right, right. I came in thinking I was in good shape and got my ass kicked my freshman year, right? So our strength coach was on me, on me, on me. I started doing the off-season programming and absolutely loved it. So that's kind of where it all started. I went from pretty out of shape for a college soccer player gained even more weight because of freshman year eating drinking all the bad stuff um and then really just got my shit together in one year and just fell in love with it fell in love with lifting not so much the running um but really just i wanted to i wanted to get even better at it so i started educating myself and what i found was you know i'm always kind of the guy that wants to go research things that's why i ended up with a bachelor's in biology um and i'll get into the education in a little bit but I, I wanted to find the answers. And if I couldn't find the answers, I'll go find it myself on the internet through resources, you know, literature, whatever it takes. And what it turned into was eventually I became the guy on the team and in my small community that people would go to and ask for questions. So more and more people kept asking me questions. I started taking on a few clients, started working at the gym as a trainer, was doing some stuff on the side just for free with friends. And then that's kind of how ATP performance came about. Um, I was working at a gym. One of the other trainers started competing in natural bodybuilding. I had never heard of natural bodybuilding. You know, just like anyone else, when I thought of bodybuilding, I thought of these huge voided up guys. Um, <laughs> nothing against that. You know, if that's your choice, that's your choice. But that wasn't for me. And I was like, I, I'm, look at me. I'm small. I, I'm tiny. I can't compete. See this guy compete. And I'm like, all right, I could do better than that. I'm, I'm bigger mm -hmm. than that. I could do the it. The fire was ignited. Uh, yeah, exactly. And, you know, I was, I had the, the workout ethic and the nutrition that I had learned from soccer. This was after college now. So I'm still working out six days a week. I'm eating pretty good. I'm already tracking things because my schedule just means I need to meal prep. I'm like, well, well, heck, let's take it to the next level and do it. I challenge myself. And I think that's where a lot of people will kind of falter. I, I don't want to digress too much, but it's, oh, you're good, dude. You got to jump in and do it. Uh, just like me. I didn't think I could do it, but it was that next challenge. I was already doing these things and it's like, why am I doing this? Why am I investing so much time without a goal? And competing then became my goal. And that kind of reignited that fire that I was missing from not playing soccer anymore. Um, so yeah, that's how it kind of all came about for me. On top of that, right now I'm finishing up a doctorate in physical therapy. So I've kind of built on that biology degree, 
um, getting into the rehabilitation side of things as well as the performance and kind of tying that all together. So that, that's my story in a nutshell. James, James, how like give a brief overview, like how old you are. Um, I know you mentioned like you got into lifting, like when you got into college, like, so how many years officially have you been lifting? Um, and then just like, I don't know if you want to maybe like even mention just like your, your height and weight, if, or if that's pretty relevant, I think for the people watching, I guarantee you somebody's going to ask you. So that's why I said you, you're how much do you bench it. James? Yeah. Uh, yeah. How much you bench? Uh, yeah, bro. Um, how many times do you bench 25, dude? <laughs> All right. So I am 24 <laughs> years old. I'll skip the bench question. <laughs> yeah. Wait. Well, wait. That'll be a different video. A whole video. Work, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So 24 years old. Uh, I got to college just because my birthday's late when I was still 17. Um which, which was funny, you know, I had to send all the forms out to my parents to play soccer and all that stuff, <laughs> right? That yeah, didn't get made fun of or anything. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, I'm um, sure you heard that once or twice. Yeah, so got there when I was 17, and for the, you know, next three years up until my senior year had ended in the fall, it was all just kind of the basics. It was our off-season conditioning. It wasn't truly bodybuilding-esque, but, oh, you know, okay. got some hypertrophy. It was more a lot of running and some full body workouts. Um, okay. Looking back now, the workouts weren't the greatest. And when I do programming for athletes, I kind of do it a little bit better than that, but yeah. different story. Um, but it was, but so you now, probably benefited in some way because you were just, you weren't doing anything. And then all of a sudden you got some sort of weight training at any capacity and you're like, oh, this is kind of cool. <laughs> yeah. yeah. For, sure. uh, okay. for, for, for sure. reference, when I got to college, one of our tests was one thir- uh, yeah, 135 bench for reps. Okay. It won my freshman year. <laughs> so, I hear you, dude. I have a similar story for sure. I can relate, dude. And but, then um, by by senior year, it was like twenty five or something like that. So I mean, you can yeah, even dude. even with improper programming. I mean, you obviously make some some gains if you're doing something. He did inadvertently answer the question. You did. Oh, well. You did. You did. <laughs> the bench. The bench question. Oh yeah. <laughs> you did from right. your senior year of college. Yeah. Years ago. <laughs> yes, yes, but no, but no, that's that's perfect, dude. I I like that a lot. Um, but no, that that works, dude. That totally works. Um, I don't no, know, wait, Connor. Do you want to? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Sorry, no, I'm cutting you off. No, that's completely fine. Um, so during my first competition, I stepped on stage, 160 pounds and six percent body fat. I am like five nine and a half, five ten. I'll call myself five nine and a half because it makes 160 sound a little bit better. <laughs> um, and then the heaviest I've got was 205 205 around 15 percent and then i did just a mini cut actually pretty recently so now i'm kind of pushing right back up to that before i uh compete again okay so. for sure for sure well no that's perfect dude that's perfect like i said um i think that gives a really good overview and good insight into to who you are kind of where you are to where you are and how you kind of got to where you are right now um connor I'm connor back. rush take it over my friend how 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 Tell people about who you are, kind of, you can do those same sort of things I was just mentioning, but then take your, take the reins, man. It's, it's your, it's your time. I want to hear, I want to, I want to learn too. I want to learn. I'm learning about you guys. Here we go. Anyways, as just said, my name is Connor Rush. Um, I actually, I just got kind of a list of things that I figured I'd go down here. Perfect. Um, of my background when it comes to, uh, uh, physical fitness. Um, so I am an IPE, uh, professional and natural uh, bodybuilder. I do classic physique, IPE, if you are not familiar with it, stands for International Pro Elite. That is the professional version of NANBF. Uh, so NANBF is, example, what James is actually competing in. You didn't, you didn't touch up on that. You sit on stage, but yes, NANBF. <laughs> um, so hopefully... I'll see you at a competition this upcoming year. Maybe. Yeah, maybe I'll be there as well. Maybe yes. you too. Yeah, we've been trying to get you doing it. That's another I, topic. So I'll talk about yeah. That. Um, uh, powerlifting is actually my main background. It's my okay. most uh, rich background. Uh, so within that, through USAPL and NASA, I have seven American powerlifting records uh, when it comes to American anyway, and then 17 Kansas because that is where it I'm from. That's where I grew up. That's where I'm at now. Uh, so 17 Kansas powerlifting records. Um, I just graduated from Emporia State University with my bachelor's in health and human performance. I was asked to come back as a graduate assistant 
so now I'm in the master's degree, which are master's degrees at big old name, which is health, physical education, recreation is literally the whole name. It's not just one thing. It's just the whole name. Um, and then besides that, I'm also currently going for my CS. CS is what I'm studying up for. Um, background on me, how I got started. So, you know, elementary school, I did track and field a lot. I just, I did it by myself. Um, I didn't join a kids club or anything like that. Um, but my mom would take me to little track meets that were around the state. I uh, did pretty good in those at that age. Uh, eventually, the weightlifting portion started in junior high. Uh, we always had summer weights during uh, junior high, high school. We always had summer weights, and they allowed junior high kids to go out there. Uh, so the seventh and eighth grade. I know some bigger places. I don't know who's all watching the sixth grade is counted as junior high. Um, so that's when I officially got started, but... Uh, that was just kind of to do something during the summer. Friends were there because I went to a very small school. In fact, in my graduating class, uh, we had around like 30. And then in the whole high school, we had like 150 or so. Uh, around junior high, I did wrestling. And there was a gap between wrestling and track. Uh, or excuse me, I did wrestling and there was a gap uh, where there was a basketball season and I didn't play basketball. Well, my dad didn't Goblin want me sitting James. on my, yeah, yeah. My dad didn't want me sitting on my butt. He wanted me to actually do something. So him and I went out to the school and we started lifting weights and he just showed me really simple things. And it's not like he's a big lifter or anything like that. He just showed me stuff that he knew. Mm -hmm. Um, and that's really how it kind of got started and it built on from there. Uh, first powerlifting meet with, was in eighth grade. Uh, around sophomore year, that's when I hit that uh, growth spurt to where you just start widening out, you start gaining weight, and that's when I suddenly, you know, I started getting more broad, and I was like, oh, okay, this is kind of cool now, you know, <laughs> I'm starting to really see progress. Um, and then from there, again, powerlifting was the main background. Uh, I got into bodybuilding, if you want to account for stage, when I was – Technically, 19 was my first ever competition. I never talk about it because I had no idea what I was doing. Uh, the girl that told me about it had no idea what she was doing. Um, I was, uh, I, I knew I wanted to get on stage at that point, uh, but again, I was just straight up powerlifter. Didn't know what I, didn't know anything about dieting, anything like. Because when you do powerlifting, really. Technically, if you want to really go deep into it, because you because it doesn't matter how you look when you're a power lifter. It's just well, like if you got any a, power lifters here. Kyle. Yeah, yeah. If, <laughs> if, if you're a uh, if you need to cut weight, then you just cut weight, and then you're good to go. You oh, know, yeah. it's so, like wrestling. It's like wrestling, sort of, where yeah. you're just like, oh, I need to make that weight. Well, exactly. I'll figure it out. Exactly. Like you're not like you're not, yeah. There's no there's not much strategy involved. No yeah, yeah. And then if you want if you want to gain weight, go to <laughs> yeah. the next class. You just eat more you know <laughs> um so I, I i knew nothing about that and like i said i knew i wanted to get on stage and the person that told me about it they were brand new to everything as well and so uh she told me i think it was like two months until the show was uh and i was working at this time uh i actually worked for two years before i went to college and uh she she, she was like uh you know, when it comes to dieting, just eat half of what you're eating. Like, okay. <laughs> that sounds so like just ate, typical advice I hear people that, say. That is like, what I was, that's what I was told gym, to do. Like, so I was like, okay, I'll eat half of what no. I'm eating. And uh, Come on. <laughs> so, so I ate half of what I was eating. Like literally, uh, I worked for a warehouse, <laughs> USPS. And half. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I worked for a USPS warehouse and I always took a lunch. And so I just literally, like, if I had two sandwiches, okay, I'd just eat one now. And, you yeah. know, uh, I always uh, – I'm a big macaroni connoisseur. And okay. so I always have, like, the like easy mac to go things, right? So usually I think I took two of those. Well, okay, I'll just take one now, you know. <laughs> Simple stuff. Um, and then when it came to the training, I threw in cardio, but I still did powerlifting. So – there ended up only being two of us in the team division, and and I ended up 
winning it, but it was just because I had sheer size on the on the dude. And uh, in your defense, it probably worked a little bit. The, the it cutting did. of I dropped weight. I was going to say I dropped sure weight. Did, yeah. But. yeah, I dropped weight. Um. Uh. Anyway, so I, I never talk about that one because I, I I didn't do anything right, so I just don't even bring it up. Uh, but when it comes to NANBF, my first competition, uh, I believe, was 2015. That was in Norfolk, Nebraska. Uh, so I just did the collegiate and the novice there. Uh, ended up doing well on those. The next one I did was in Kansas City. That was for my pro card. I ended up getting my pro card. Uh, and then I didn't actually compete in my first pro show until earlier this past year. Uh, so, so yeah, so I went, uh, tried a different association just to see what it was like. And also the show was out in Colorado and I really wanted to visit Colorado. I hear uh, you. And, uh, so did that, uh, but yeah, so, so now, uh, like I said, I'm up here doing graduate assisting. I just live in the same town that the, uh, that campus is in, that the college is on. Uh, right now I'm in my off season. Yeah. Where where is that? Where, uh, I was gonna say, did, I think James, you did mention where you're from, but I was gonna say, kind of, you want to mention where you're yeah, from? Yeah. So too. right now, uh, where I'm currently living is called Emporia, Kansas, and Emporia okay. State University. Oh, you did mention Kansas. Yep. 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 And Emporia State University is where okay. I go and where I uh, currently teach for the graduate assisting. Uh, I do have uh, my own little team that I started putting together this year. We call it the Table. Uh, Think uh, I like it. Yeah, I think the round table, and that's yeah, kind of no, the like idea. Yeah. You know, everybody's an equal. There's not a head of the table kind of thing. Um, and uh, we've done a couple of shows. Uh, each show, I've had uh, three people. So hopefully next year, I'm hoping to double that, have six yeah. at some point. Uh, but yeah, just just starting slow. Uh, do my own uh, personal training on the side and person online. Uh, and then I guess I'll go into age and height and weight and all that stuff. Yeah, totally. So I'm I am also 24. Uh, in January I will turn quarter of a century. Super awesome there. <laughs> one, one step closer, you know. One notch um, up. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Um, the heaviest I've ever been was actually on this current off season, which is 190. Um, I've never been 190 before, uh, and I'm five. Five six is what okay. I am. What I am. So so a thick for reference. A thick five, for six. reference, when Connor is one ninety, that would be me like two forty. <laughs> yeah, his his one ninety is a big how boy. How tall are you? You said you're like five eleven. Five ten, yeah. Five ten, okay. Five. You yeah, said five eleven, just to make that. I hear you. Yeah, yeah, I remember. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Five, six. Um, and then my stage weight is typically anywhere from one sixty five to one seventy. Okay. This is what I typically go on. So usually because of my short stature, I am usually one of the more dense, thicker guys on stage. Yeah. For sure. No, that's perfect, dude. I think that's perfect. Um, I think that gives everyone a kind of a really good insight into things. And I'll keep my sort of my insight a little bit more brief on everything, but I'll give you guys a little brief intro in terms of anyone who's watching this for the first time, maybe any of you guys followers that are watching this, but um, my name is Joe Anklum and I'm 22 years old. I'm a little bit younger than these old farts over here. Um, so I've actually been, I've been lifting seriously, I'd say for about five years right now. Um, six years, I would say if you really want to count it, but, um, the first couple of years that really got me into the gym at all were due to sports and just performance. And really, honestly, it wasn't anything other than trying to make my, my teammates as well as my coaches happy. So um, and I knew it would benefit me in some capacity, but I didn't really have any knowledge like I do now in terms of the nutrition or just really structure side of things. So um, it started out towards football, just trying to get bigger, stronger for football. I was always a really small kid when I entered into high school. Um, athletics are always in my life. I was always an athletic kid. Um, I always played sports. I was always involved in athletics. But when I was a high school freshman, I believe I was around 100 pounds, really tiny. And I'm, for reference, I'm 5'7". Um, when I was entering high school as a freshman, I was about five foot. So I was really small. I've always been a small kid, just small frame um, and skinny too. But I was always athletic, like I said. Um, 
So I was in the gym. I started really getting serious about my junior year of high school, and that's when I really started learning and really understanding that, okay, if I do put some work in, I'm going to make some progress. But it was small because, like I said, the only things I was doing is strength coach base, kind of the same thing um, as James was faced, where I was getting some good knowledge, but it wasn't it wasn't all there in terms of what I could have potentially be, been getting or been doing, um, which I envy in terms of Connor when he said that he gets to sophomore year, he was getting bigger. I was like, I was like, <laughs> I honestly, I could be quite frank. I didn't really care. I just, I wanted to get faster and I wanted to get stronger. But my senior year, getting to kind of like a little bit more progression, I was 130 pounds when I graduated high school. Um, about 130, and that's soaking wet. So, um, and I was going to play college football. I was really, um, uh, really into football. It was my favorite sport. Um, I played in the Classic Eight, and I'm from Waukesha, Wisconsin, which um, the Classic Eight is well known in, in, in terms of the state, in terms of the, the performance. Everyone is a powerhouse, um, and quite frankly, our team was pretty bad um, in terms of getting our getting our asses kicked. So uh, the the light kind of in the in the in the darkness was I played corner um, and as well as safety. I was an honorable mention all conference, which was really cool for me. Um, so I was like really gung ho on football, and that's when when I committed to go to a D three school, um, UW Oshkosh. I was like, hey, like I need to take this performance in the gym seriously because. I don't want to weigh 130 pounds when I'm going to play college football here. You know what I mean? It works, but there something needs to, to change. So that summer going into my freshman year of college is really when I got my first program from my the college I was going to be going to. Really took it seriously, but even then, lacked the nutrition side of things. And I was going to gray shirt, which is essentially the same thing as red shirting, but at the D3 level. Um, so the only difference with, which kind of sucks, is at red shirting, uh, the D1 level, you practice with the team. At the D3 level, you don't get to practice with the team. So that is where it kind of blows a little bit more so because you're like, oh, this kind of sucks. And especially coming from my end, I was paying for college. So I decided, I was like, hey, I'm going to go home, train at home, do as much research as I can on my own, learn as much as I can. And then I'll decide if I want to go back and play football after that freshman year, um, like I was going to do anyways. So that's the time when I was like, okay, we're diving into this. We're going to make things happen. And it's funny you mentioned, like I said, I can relate to the bench thing. My freshman year of college, I, I totally can understand. Football, though, it was brutal. I'm warming up, like doing these like 25s, then I go to like 135. I hit 185 like six times in training leading up to football camp, right? Um, when I was up there for the summer camp, my eating was so shitty because I was like stressed, nervous, and I didn't understand that like, oh my gosh, this is like the major thing you need to be focusing on, Joe. You're about to test your numbers, right? 185, one time. And I was just like, these guys are warming up with 185, hitting 225, 275, 315, 405. And I'm just like, and so that's when I went home and I was like, I need to work on this. And started diving into my training. I got um, in, in the beginning, I was actually going to school for um, uh, history, nothing to do with fitness. Um, I was going to be a secondary education major, so high school history teacher. Essentially, I wanted to coach football. Um, but then I started kind of the same thing as you guys. People started reaching out to me because I started posting my training for football online, started my Instagram going, and I was like, hey, this is my squat PR. This is my random training that I was doing, all performance-based, and still really not too specific with what I was doing, but I was learning slowly. I started going on PubMed. I started looking up different articles um, all over the place that I could kind of find the answers I was looking for in terms of putting on weight. I started realizing, hey, nutrition, wow, this is a big aspect of things. Um, and that's when I kind of first got my first certification. I started out with ACE. Um, then I got to a NASM certification and that's a whole, I want to talk about, that's a good video for us to talk about, um, certifications. Uh, so I, I got both of those, um, for a while I worked actually for two years, I worked in a gym. I ended up dropping out of school completely cause I was like, well, this is stupid. I'm not going for history anymore. Um, I ended up dropping out of school completely. Um, and I started working in a gym for about two years, two and a half years, personal training in person. Um, and at the, at the same time I was doing the online coaching, that's when I was starting my YouTube and, um, that's kind of where I'm at now. I, I actually ended up totally getting rid of my in-person training job, um, about 10 months ago, coming up on a year here. And now I'm just going full online. Um, a lot of my clients are more general population. I do have a few, actually I have a, my, uh, the first client of mine, actually second, technically the first um, a female client of mine who's going to be competing, which is kind of fun. She reached out to me with a brutal situation. Um, so I was able to help her out. So 
most of the general population helping out um, people just getting on a, on a consistent routine, both nutrition wise as well as workout wise. Um, but yeah, that's kind of where I'm at right now. Um, I think I mentioned, actually, no, I didn't mention my weight. Um, the most I've ever weighed, I'm 5'7", like I said, 22. Most I ever weighed was 165 pounds. Um, and that was, it was brutal. I was, I was, I was eating a ton. That's, uh, that was, that was me force feeding, which is, I know you guys are like, shut up, Joe, I don't want to hear it. But, but that was the most I've ever weighed right now. I'm a comfortable around like 155, 158, kind of depending on the time of day. Um, I'm trying to work my way back up to that 160 mark because that's when I've hit all my, like really feel the best in terms of hitting those PRs. I've hit PRs at lower weights, but they don't feel as, as smooth. And my body definitely takes it. It takes a toll on my body. So, um, that's kind of where I'm at right now and, and kind of where, where I came from, I guess you could say, but, um, but yeah, hopefully I think, the, what's, what's the, can you see the time counter? Are we, are we going crazy here? Uh, right now, the full thing that we've done, it says about 27. So we're probably oh, around we're actually good. like 17. That's not bad at all. Yeah. I was gonna say, and if it's long, we'll, we'll take the upload. Yeah, time. It's, it's but, really, it's not an issue. But, um, but yeah, do you guys have any have anything else you guys want to kind of touch on? Anything else you want everyone to know before we get into things? I think I think this is really solid. I think this gives people a really good insight into both of you guys and, and just in general our backgrounds, who we are. Yeah. Um, really, you can make this a whole different video. Uh, but I did – quick, quick, I want to touch oh, on – we were talking about all of our heights and our weights. Yeah. And, you know, I'm, I'm 5'6", and like I just said, I'm, I'm around 190 right now. And uh, uh, Joe, you said you're around what one, like one fifty eight, like one fifty five, really, yeah. all right? And you're yeah. one inch taller than James. What were you? Five ten right now, like one ninety. Okay, yeah. So yeah, James and I are the same weight right now, and yeah. totally different body. Yeah. Um, and I but it's, suppose that's that, cool though. It's good. Yeah. It's good insights. And, and that is another thing uh, when it comes to your background. I mean, one, just your anatomy, your next, you know, how your body is going to take on weight. I can take on uh, my body. I'm, I'm heavier, you know, than, for example, Joe. Uh, but I'm not like, I'm not a fat guy or anything like that, you know? Oh, no, no, um, totally. I and, think and, people and, need to go follow you and check that yeah, out to see the fruit and, and, and Yeah, You're not and, fat by any means. Yeah. You're freaking you know, and, jacked, and, bro. <laughs> and, and the thing is, the thing is, uh, again, this could be a totally separate video that has to do with my background in powerlifting, you know, just going for okay. strength and just bone density and everything that's, like that. That's the huge, I'm, like I said, I'm so jealous of that. All the young guys I work with, I still go back to my high school all the time. I'm like, if you can get in and understand that basic level foundation yeah. early, yeah. Oh, start reaping those benefits yeah. early. Cause like, oh, yeah. sure oh, you I, can really do, man, you're the same way as me where it's like, I didn't even mm -hmm. take it seriously until I was in college. I'm like, oh. Shit. Yeah, I, I was, I was, the, I was to the party. <laughs> I was lucky because you know most most young men are cert or worried about oh I want to get a big chest or big arms and I wasn't like that I just want to get strong Numbers. that's yep. that's yep. all I cared about and then while most guys are like focused on bench press I was doing squats you know <laughs> and so it helped though I can relate yeah. to that because when I yeah. was doing when I was playing football. My uh, finally, just now, I I feel comfortable with my upper body in proportion to my lower body, where I would actually want to compete. Dude, when I first started, you'd see my legs are like, holy shit, Joe, your quads are huge. Calves yeah. are tiny, but my upper body was tiny. Like my quads were jacked. Like, yeah, yeah. So squat yeah, all yeah, the time. Yeah, I was like, like power a, clean, a, you know, like all the, yeah, yeah. the the performance stuff. So, but yeah, no, I totally can I can understand. But I still only weighed like 140 pounds at the time. So you had, you had a my legs. you had a you had a cyclist body. Because, you know, you always see pictures of them 100%. with the big, 100%. The big old legs. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, exactly. I was stocky, though. I was little, so that helped yeah. the cause. That helped the yeah, cause. Yeah. No, I that can has relate. been but my yeah. entire off-season was balancing out the 14 years of soccer. I mean, my quads, yeah, like, I literally... Imagine. There you go. Dude, yep. Do you have, like, different... I, what, did you kick with one leg more? Did that have, like, an effect? Like, do you have one quad I've, bigger? I've noticed, like, more definition in the one. Because, oh, you know, okay. that, re that repeated use over and over and over that and over and over. Sense. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's been like a year, what is it? Two years now? No, a year. I forget whatever my off season has been a year of just like crushing upper body. And I don't want to say slacking on legs cause I'm doing hey, them but heavy, that's okay. yeah, yeah. But the that's volume, a good problem to have that most people don't, you know, like they're like, oh, I got better do legs five times a week. And then it's just like, eh, you should have done that. You should have done once a week 
like two years ago, you know, like yeah. <laughs> started, started out a little basic. But yeah, um, I joked around that I started out the opposite of a gym bro, like like you, Joe. It was like yeah, exactly screw barbell bench. I suck yep. at that. I'm gonna go squat. <laughs> yeah, no, I do, that's literally me. Totally, I still suck at bench, man. But um, but no, I think that's good, dude. I think you guys uh really covered a lot. I think we we got a good good amount of insight to to everyone. But um, I'm excited. There's gonna be a lot of topics we're gonna be covering. I think we've already discussed that. Um, I, and just really anything you guys want to definitely leave comments below. Anything you have questions on that we touched on. Um, and, and let us know about quality too. Talk about that sort of thing if you if you guys have any questions on that. Um, I would love to. I would love to kind of optimize that, especially from a viewer standpoint. But um, yeah, so I think I think that was it, guys. I think that's that's pretty solid for the first episode. And we're gonna come back with a name in the second one, or at least <laughs> cool, yeah. here. Hopefully. And uh, and yeah, we're, we're gonna like I said. I think we really want to be able to to serve you guys in terms of what you really want. So. Like I said, please be active in terms of some topics, but um, we'll be coming at you either way. So, uh, yeah, I think that's it, guys. Thank you for watching, especially if you're still watching. And um, we will be we'll be seeing you guys very soon again and be in contact with you guys soon. So, um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Boom. All right. So, yeah.